Alright, so we are pulling up to Stellar Built right now. Super early in the morning. All right, so we just got here to Stellar Built and give a little update on the Sequendra coming out of Bradford's garage. Got the king set up. Total chaos, uppers and lowers. Looking like they skip leg day, but it's about to change soon. So we'll do a quick little walk around of the current state before Stellar gets its hands on it. Time to get rid of these 20s with 275 60 20s. So, yep, there it is. Got the homie Josh's second gen. Super clean. Got the custom kings. turn out nice then of course we got Dimitri's uh, Moscow mule I think it's called Moscow runner um, anywho fourth gen forerunner solid axle crazy you got the 42s on there sheesh This is what dreams are made of, ladies and gents. Sick. I'm walking on the stellar builds. Must be Miso's Tacoma. Got the Hellcat in there. Sheesh. This thing is insane. Full build. 39s. All right, so we just got out on the rack, and here he is. We got CJ out here working on it. All right, so they're gonna be relocating this whole Catamount area right here. And also knocking down this pinch weld. Uh, to get the 37s on here right now.
All right, so we're back in the shop, and apparently these are TRD brakes that were an option for some of the older Tundra Sequoias with a tow package. And I guess they are pretty massive. Just didn't realize that they wouldn't fit our 17s right here. So, went ahead and stopped by Napa grab some of the stock sizing calipers rotors and pads and gonna throw these on here and probably have these for sale soon so um yeah for now we'll run these until we can get some um bbks that will fit the 17s and over here we got the cab mount almost done being welded on uh, cj's taking a little break but they're looking really nice. Got the Stellar Built logo on there. Pretty sick. And yep, a little bit more work to do, but uh, looks like it's moving along. And these are the factory cab mounts. All right, so we made it back next day to Stellar Built and this is how it's looking. So we had an issue with the lug nuts and now I brought these um, Project Kicks monolith lug nuts and it seems to be working now. So these were actually for my Tesla but since we were in a pinch I just brought them over to throw on here um, seems to be working but let's take a look at the work they did um, here's the body mount relocation it looks super clean might be a little hard to tell in the video but it looks super nice so that actually moved this back quite a bit so here it is Zoomed out a little bit, you can kind of see the difference between the front and the rears as far as the droop goes. These are the 17 inch uh, by 9 Summit off road, which is now SSW off road wheels. Um, these are zero offset all around. There it is. Right here. That's the one. <laughs> Batter up. Batter up. You got the Thor with him. Yeah. There it is. Oh, we're fitting 40s in here, bro. 40, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's a closer look at the pinch roll. They're knocking down. There's a pinch weld, all flattened out. All right, so here it is, finally on the ground. This thing is crazy. Come on, man. Indian. What's up, doggy? <laughs> so I just talked to Dimitri, and he said maybe I should probably throw a inch or inch and a quarter spacer back here to match the front. But honestly, it doesn't look that much wider. Or am I just tripping? I don't know. But what do you guys think? Should I throw a spacer back here? We'll see. We'll see how it is after alignment and everything. Alright, we're back at Stellar and it's about time to do the alignment. <laughs> you 
got it. Quick little walk around of how it's sitting right now. All right, so I did end the last video a little abruptly, but basically uh, Stellar went ahead and aligned the Sequoia. Um, I forgot my camera at my buddy's house, so I didn't get a chance to record it, but today we are at my boy Jimmy's house, Wonton Taco, and he went ahead and fabricated some sliders for me, and here it is right here. This is my lovely wife. What do you think? Beefy. Beefy. <laughs> First time seeing in person for her. What's up, bro? It's my boy Jimmy right there. What's up, Mr. What's up? Wonton Taco Adventures himself. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? How you liking it? Good, bro, good. Bro, it looks man. sick, dude. Yeah. How well, you like it, man? Yeah. Looks, uh... looks good. That fresh coat of paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks was it good. was it uh, difficult to? To install or anything, or pretty straightforward? Um, no, nah, it wasn't that hard to install. It was, it was a basic slider, you know, no kick out. So, I mean, yeah. pretty straightforward. Nice. Yeah. So. Right on, man. Looks good, bro. Yeah, thank Ooh. you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, so here's another look. A little walk around with the new sliders in. What do you guys think? I went for the uh, slight angled look, uh, more of a low profile, minimal look. I didn't want it sticking out too much. They didn't, they didn't want to kick out. This isn't a rock crawler, so. Um, honestly, just for, you know, protection and helping the wife and kiddos get up in the car. So that's how it looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And here we got Jimmy's Beast. This is a first gen Sequoia on 37s. This thing is sick. He's uh, rear geared on 529s. He's locked up in the front and rear. This thing is massive. Love it. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this episode. Um, thank y'all for watching. We're gonna do some more videos on a Sequoia soon. So make sure you like and subscribe. Till then, see you in the next episode. Yee!